three. For nearly two years now, Nicole Simone has been capturing what she calls the happily ever after of dog rescue. You're online and you see this dog needs a home and this dog needs a home and there's a puppy mill break or there's a dog fighting ring that got broken up, but nobody hears what happens after the adoptions. Simone says by capturing these stories through her lens, she's helping to break a stigma about dog rescue. People feel like if you don't get a dog as a puppy, it won't get attached to you. They feel like these dogs come from various circumstances and they don't acclimatize to the home. Oxen here is a two and a half year old French bulldog that was rescued from a puppy mill in Richmond Hill. Isn't that right, buddy? His owner, Dana Moritz, says Oxen spent the first part of his life living in a cage. He was neglected and she was worried he might be damaged goods. Behavioral health issues, that sort of thing. But she took a chance with Oxen, and she's glad she did. Every day I wake up and I'm so lucky that he's laying next to me in my bed. It's very hard not to photograph a dog this handsome. Simone has featured more than 200 rescue dogs with the Redemption Project, all with a unique story to tell. Some of the first photographs I took in the series um, were of a dog named Greta. This is Greta, a pit bull who had been abused and was dying of cancer. And because of her breed, she was also a difficult dog to find a home for. Greta died two months after she was adopted by this woman. She got to spend her, you know, the last two months of her life in a loving home, and I got to document that and share that. Simone says when she posts these pictures with their stories, they often inspire other people to consider adopting a rescue. People don't realize that sometimes these dogs, uh, they don't get a fair shake at life, um, and they definitely deserve the second chances that they get. Greg Ross, CBC News, Toronto.